Hello there, it's Darren here in Cromarton, Northumberland. I'm in the shed, not I'm in the shed. People keep asking us sometimes, the corn find is on YouTube, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the shed. Uh, check it out, subscribe if you want to, various videos of various things that I've started this year, you know. Not the best, and not the worst, I suppose. Uh, trying to like, get my subscribers up, so if you can, you know, subscribe, that's fantastic. Anyway, we're talking about peppers. I started growing peppers, these sort of type, which is the cayenne pepper or jalapeno. I'm not sure if it's uh, the same sort of like, you know, pepper, chili. Uh, 2016, grew some uh, small pots, you know, some su success, but not really that good. Thought to myself, that maybe it's because they haven't got enough space in the pot, they need to go in the ground, put them in the ground. No, it didn't work, didn't work at all. Completely a disaster. So I did a little bit of research and basically what I found is, you know, you start them off, they don't seem to be doing that well, but as they get bigger, we pop them, we pop them. Uh, I never fed them anything special. Uh, I didn't put them in special soil, basically just my compost soil that I just saved. I just kept putting them on, putting them on. Uh, and as you can see, uh, quite successful this year. I did about 10 plants <coughs> of the same thing. Maybe I should have done various uh, varieties, but I didn't really go that far because I wasn't quite sure well whether it would work or not. And as you can see, pot full. Uh, green ones, red ones, ones that haven't really matured like the green ones but uh, it's getting that time of year where you know I'm a bit worried in case they might rot because there's various things in this polytunnel with the moisture and the damp that are starting to just get that uh, mould, the porous ones I don't know what you call it really but anyway they're starting to mould so I thought I'd better like harvest them so I've got a hell of a lot of the 10 plants and what I found, I did have the 10 plants in here at the time and as I've said in a previous video, I haven't been up here much so I've had the doors shut. The year before I had the doors open so I had a lot of plants in here that were getting pollinated and I was self pollinating them. And I found the peppers were sort of like, you know, flowering and you could see the peppers sort of forming but, I keep saying peppers, the chilies, uh, forming and it wasn't really working. So I realised that I had to put them elsewhere, so I put them in the greenhouse with the uh, window open at the, where the roof is and did fantastic. So, you know, it does prove that they need pollinators and you need pollinators, you can't shut them off from the pollinators and, and you, don't, you don't really get successful uh, plants. So, as you can see, like I say, I've got absolutely loads here and like all I'm doing, I'm just, all I'm just, I'm going to harvest this last one. Uh, this is the 10th one and I'll take them home, dry them out a little bit because I don't want them in too much moisture in case they start to rot and hopefully I'll make various things if there's anybody out there who's watching this video knows any recipes that you can use these chilies they're not the hottest but they're hot enough for me uh, next year I'm going to try different ones I have got loads of peppers but like I say this year I didn't want to uh, confuse myself too much about all the various peppers I just wanted to just concentrate on one pepper see what went and my god it's done really well this year so hopefully you know you like this video you've, you've gained a bit of information uh, but like I say is I've never put them in any special soil basically my compost that I made uh, trying trying to make it as cheap as possible never fed it with anything just water plain water from the air water but uh, the whole point of doing that is to make it as cheap as possible for people who are just starting off uh, fellow plotters or people who are just doing a big garden and all that you know I don't want to make it too expensive for me or for anybody that's watching the video you know you have to make it as cheap as possible you could spend a fortune on the specialized soils and the specialized feeds to make your peppers chilies the best and all that but as you can see it being in my own compost that I made and water hasn't done it any difference really I should do a, a bit of a trial shouldn't I maybe I might do that next year where I do specialized soil and specialized feeds and see if it makes any difference maybe I'm wrong 
uh, but I can't see I haven't been successful with like I says all of these and you know great anyway I hope this has been informative I hope you've enjoyed it uh, subscribe to my YouTube page I'm in the shed on YouTube uh, I'll be growing for the rest of the year see you later bye